Hello everyone, so welcome to our channel. So we are now in quarter 3, module 5. Our topic is all about light. So in this video, dalawang lesson ang ating iti-take up, kaya majority, ipa-flash lang natin yung mga answers. Magpo-focus lang tayo sa discussion part. This is the the answers for the what I know for lesson 1. Ipo paki-post na lang ng video kapag gusto niyo i-internalize ang bawat answers po. Okay, so itong activity 1, may answers na siya. Kigo paki-post na lang po. Activity 2 rin po. For the what do you think are the sources of light, ang answers niya is itong lahat na nasa paligid ng sun. So, ito ang answers. For the natural sources na enumerate ko, for the artificial sources, itong hindi ko na enumerate sa number 2 na nandito, yun yung answer sa number 3. For number 4. Okay, so, the nature of light. So, mag-start tayo kay Sir Isaac Newton who believe in his book that light is a particle. For the second scientist, Christian Huygens, he believed that light is a wave. Then for the third scientist, C. Louis de Broglie, he believed the dual nature of light, that light can be a wave and at the same time a particle. For the fourth scientist, we have the James Clark Maxwell, he, believed, he proposed the electromagnetic theory of light. And always remember that light is a form of energy that can be found in our surroundings. And we have the materials that allow light to pass through and they are called transparent. And we have opaque materials that do not allow light to pass through. And we have the translucent materials that partly allow light to get through. So partly lang siya, hindi talaga lahat ng light mapass through sa translucent materials. Then we have the sources of light. We have the natural sources, the sun, the stars, the fire, the lightning. And we have the artificial sources. These are man-made. So we have the incandescent bulb, candle, matches, gas lamps. And we have the luminous objects. They are the objects that produce light. So we have the sun, incandescent bulb, candle, flashlight, matches, and gas lamps. And we have the non-luminous objects that those are the objects that cannot produce light, just like the moon. The moon just borrowed light from the sun, the rocks, the water, and the soil. <coughs> then we have the brightness of light, which depends on the light source and the distance from the light source. So we have the luminous intensity, which is, which is the measure of the radiant power emitted by any source of light in a given direction and is dependent on the wavelength of light being emitted. And we have the special instruments that can be used for luminous intensity. We have the photometer. And this is the calculation for the illuminance of incandescent bulb. For the intensity, this is the formula. I-pause nyo lang yung video para mag-internalize kayo sa computations. For the what's more, how you nang bahala mag answer dyan using this. And what I have learned, activity 3 answers, activity 4. And for the complete me, nag-crash at ako kay Isaac Newton kasi hindi siya included dito kasi wala naman dito ang, hindi naman siya answer dito. Si Louis de Broglie, ay eh, palit niyo dito. For the what I can do, kayo nang bahala dyan. Then assessment tayo sa lesson 1. Flash ko lang ha, para hindi tayo maubusan ng oras. Pakipost lang ng video para po kayo maka-internalize sa answers. Okay, okay, for additional activities, kayo na po ang gagawa ng color spectrum wheel. You may send to us your experience in the comment section below while uh, doing the color spectrum wheel. Let's start with the what I know portion sa lesson 2. Okay, pakipost lang ng video para po kayo maka-internalize sa ating answers. Okay, until number 15. 
Then, we have the characteristics of light. Uh, may answers po pala sa activity 1 tayo dito. Pakipost lang ng video. And for the activity 2, activity 2 is entitled, the shorter the higher one. Kasi the shorter the frequency, the higher the wavelength. So, for example, itong frequency ni radio wave, 3 times 10 to the power of 7, pero ang kanyang wavelength is napakalaki. Pero kapag i-multiply mo sila, pareho lang naman sila ng speed. Okay? Lahat. So, may answers din tayo. Paki-enlarge na lang nito. Or paki-post ng video. Para po maklaro ninyo. Okay. And then, the what's new portion. So, basically, instead of exponent, nilagyan ko ng caret. Kasi hindi possible na mailagay na small c9. Parang pariho lang sila dito sa base. Dapat exponent c9. So, nilagyan ko ng caret. Kapag pwede naman ninyo mailagay sa exponent portion C9, huwag nyo nang lagyan ng karet. Okay, what's new? Answer natin sa table 2. And guide questions. For the what is it? Yeah, this is the discussion part. Light is one of the electromagnetic waves with a wavelength which can be perceived by the human eye. So, light can is given off by stars like the sun or any luminous objects from our surroundings like fireflies. So, visible spectrum is made up of different colors called as rainbow of colors. We have the red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet. This is the acronym for this. Colors of light, rainbow of colors. So, this visible spectrum or the colors of light can be described according to their wavelength and frequency. So, wavelength of light, just like in our discussion sa wave, it's the distance between corresponding points in two adjacent light cycles. And the frequency of light is the number of cycles of light that pass a given point in one second. So, dito, increasing in frequency but decreasing in wavelength ang ating graph. So, basically, napaka taas ng frequency ni red, pero napaka... Ay, ano ba to? Increasing in frequency. So, napaka-short. So, I'm so sorry. Pangalawa na to. Pagkakamali ko. Always remember that si red, si red ay napaka napaka-taas ng kanyang wavelength. So, kasi dahil mataas ang kanyang wavelength, napaka- baba ng kanyang frequency. Okay? Nakaba, napakababa ng kanyang frequency. Tama po ba? Longest, yes, that's it. From the seven colors of light, the red color has the longest wavelength but it has the lowest frequency among the light spectrum. So, ito lang ang gawin ninyo kasi si wavelength and si frequency, they are inversely proportional. Kapag mataas yung isa, mababa yung isa naman. So, dapat isa lang, isang color nyo la, lang ang inyo uh, i-remember para hindi na kayo ma-confuse. So, si red, itong si red ang i-remember ninyo kasi magpa-follow naman yung iba. Always remember lang the acronym Roy G. B. Kapag si Red, ang i-remember nyo lang, magpa-follow na, ma-remember nyo na yung iba. So, always remember si Red, lowest ang kanyang frequency. Lowest. Pero yung wavelength, highest. Okay? Highest man si wavelengths ni Red, so of course, lowest si frequency niya. Okay? So, yan lang i-remember ninyo. So, this, the product between the wavelength and frequency of each color of light is the speed. We call it the speed. So, the speed of light depends on its frequency and wavelength. So, each color travels at different speeds when they travel through a different medium such as the solid, liquid, gas, or the air, water, solid materials. But, Lahat ng colors of light as well as the members sa electromagnetic spectrum like the radio wave, gamma rays, they travel at common speed. 
we call it the speed of light and we the speed of light in vacuum is 3 times 10 to the power of 8 meters per second okay so this is the exponent so ito yung sinasabi ko kanina dapat yung 8 is nasa exponent portion pero hindi possible dito na may lagay may may mas small ko yung 8 kaya nilagayan ko na lang ng current so light of any color can be made by mixing the three diff additive primary colors so we have the three primary colors of light the red blue and green okay what's more answers table three table four then what i have learned answers okay pakipost na lang yung video para mag over nyo yung answers natin and for the assessment then okay until number 15 and we have the additional activities answers then so thank you so much for watching our video so basically nag flash lang ako sa ating answers kasi medyo medyo tired po ang ang guro nyo maraming module na dapat isort ko pa para ma-distribute this Monday and yeah, maglilinis pa ako dito sa classroom kasi wala po tayong mga estudyante na pwedeng mag sa atin. So, if you find this video helpful to your part, you may comment down below for, your, for the interaction. So, thank you so much and see you sa ating module 6 na video.